I'm Nancy Zeman, and I'm very excited to share with you one of the products that I designed for Clover. It's the Trace and Create Template, e-tablet, and paper tablet keepers. There are three sizes for each tablet style, the e-tablet keeper for the common electronic tablets and the paper keeper for traditional sizes of paper tablets. First, the e-tablet keepers. Here I have the three sizes that fit the traditional electronic tablets and readers. The largest with the hook and loop tape or Velcro closing. The medium size, notice elastic holds the electronic tablet into place. There's a spine down the middle to make it very secure. And the same components for the smaller size, the reader size, held in place with elastic and a spine closed together securely and in your favorite fabrics. These tablet keepers are extremely durable and have firmness to them. We have the tablet keeper shapers in the three sizes cut exactly to fit the size of the tablet keepers. You'll be using elastic, either traditional garment sewing elastic or you can use stretchy headband as elastic cut into place that has a silicone backing. Also, choose your favorite hardware from the Clover collection. To create the strap, as well as the spine, use the create a strap. The spine uses the narrow 5 8 width, simply press to the wrong side of the fabric, fold along the perforation, and you've created the spine. In the instructions, I give you all the dimensions. Then for the strap, use the 1 inch create a strap. Again, fuse to the wrong side of the fabric, fold along the perforations, and press. But the star of the show is the template. The template has all three sizes and all the markings that you'll need to create your e-tablet keepers. Color-coded from large, medium, and small. Each of the color coding has a placement for the elastic, as well as for the closure, and the placement, the lower portion of the strap. You're going to cut a strip of fabric the size given on the instructions. Within the instructions, you'll get all the details. And here's a size strip for the medium tablet keeper. And I'll place the edge of the fabric along the fold. The die cut areas allow you to trace the size that you'd like. I'm working with the medium size. And then using a rotary cutter, ruler, and mat, cut a tablet keeper a rectangle for the front as well as the inside. So you'll have two layers. Use coordinates fabrics. Fat quarters would work great for this instance. This is my outer and this is the inner fabric. I back the fabric with fusible interfacing just to give it a little extra security. We're going to start off by working with the strap. The strap dimensions, as I mentioned, will be listed. And you'll mark on the strap a dimension to place the hook and loop tape, one side of the Velcro or a comparable hook and loop tape. Thread the hardware in the strap area, and there's a specific mark for the fold. Pin the layers together and stitch. Here I'm using a zipper foot to do the stitching along the edges to hold the two layers together. Now it's time to attach the strap to the outer area of the tablet keeper. Place the template back on your fabric. Align the edges and you'll find a marking for the lower edge of the strap. Just glide it along and mark so you'll know exactly where to place the strap. The strap that has been stitched will then be placed along this edge. Match it, pin, and again stitch. Again, use the zipper foot and stitch close to the edge. On this next sample, you'll find that I have the strap already stitched into place. And the other portion of the Velcro or other hook and loop tapes have been positioned. You'll know exactly where to place it by placing the template on the fabric. And there's a cutout so you can place a marker in this area, place the Velcro, and do the stitching. You'll notice on the reverse side that I have very stiff interfacing, ultra-firm interfacing to be exact. Cut another layer of a stabilizer. Ultra-firm stabilizer has been stitched to the front. Now to work with the back or the inner portion. This is the inside of the tablet keeper. Again, refer to the template. Place the template back on the 
inner portion and mark where the elastic will be positioned. There are four corners for the elastic. Just mark following the template. There will be no guesswork. Whether you're working with traditional elastic or with a stretchy headband and the coordinating color, place it only on the inner tablet keeper and based along the edges. Then you can layer this to the front, wrong sides together. Here I have the smallest of the electronic keepers and I based it around the edges but first placed the spine. You would stitch the spine down the center covering the raw edges of the elastic. Still rather lightweight at this point so now use the tablet keeper shapers. And after stitching the sides and the lower edge, insert the shapers right in the pocket. Use your favorite technique to add binding. Instructions will include detailed instructions of how to attach the binding. And then insert your reader or your electronic tablet. And now you have a color-coordinated tablet keeper just the way you'd like it. Now to create the paper tablets. Again available in the three sizes of large, medium, and small, the paper tablets fit the traditional sizes of tablets of paper. Here we have the steno pad in the medium size and then the smallest of sizes. Made a closure with a spine, a little pocket, as well as a tab and a snap to hold it exactly into place. We're again going to use the same template that we used to create the e-tablet. The large, the medium, and the small sizes again with the die cut areas. This time you do not need the strap and the velcro markings but you do need the snap placement. Cut out your fabric and then trace and cut the exact size as I have done for the large paper tablet keeper. Place the template back on the fabric and mark the snap placement. Using the traditional techniques that are listed on the package, apply one half of the snap to the front of your paper tablet keeper. The fabric has interfacing on it and has that ultra firm stabilizer added as well. So this is the front piece. Now the tab piece is the second piece of template that is included in your package. This is for the paper tablet. Again, it's die cut so that there are various sizes for tra tracing. The large and medium are from the brown line, the small from the pink line. Then there's a second tracing for the stabilizer. I'll show you what this means. Again, I've fused interfacing to the wrong side of the fabric, traced, marked the placement for the snap, and you'd cut two tabs from this shape. Since the stabilizer is ultra firm, we don't need that in the hem seam allowance. Align the edge of the fabric, with the die cut area and trace the size that you'd need. In the instructions you'll find all the step-by-step -step instructions for sewing all the areas together, but in short we're going to press under the hem and then sew the outer edges. The snap has been added already to one side and after turning right side out here is your tab piece. You can get it in the correct position by aligning the snaps together. Fold your strap, fold your template in half, and then align it to a two inch line that I've marked on the fabric. And again, your instructions will give these details. Pin the layers together, unsnap, and then you can top stitch using your machine to attach the tab into place. You're going to layer the insides of the lining so that you can create a special pocket for your tablet. You'll find dimensions of what sizes of fabric to cut and fold to place across the top and the lower portion. Again, the fabric is folded to create a placement for the cardboard area of your paper. You'll also need a spine. On the template, there's a marking for the spine. We've tried to think of all the markings that you'll need, placing the edge of the fabric and a marking at the spine area flip and mark so you know exactly where to place the spine without any guesswork. If you'd like a pocket, simply cut a six and a half inch square, fold it in half, 
and place it in the corner. Now you can stitch along the sides, the lower edge, and the spine, just to base the layers together. And this sample has the stitching accomplished. Through the top, again, you're going to add the Tablet Keeper shapers. Just slip them in on both sides so that you have a nice, firm keeper. Use your favorite binding technique and bind the edges of your paper tablet keeper and insert your paper. What a fun way of expressing yourself through creative uses of fabric. Show off your personality by creating your very own e-tablet and paper tablet keepers. This set of templates plus the pre-cut tablet keeper shapers are available at clover-usa.com. Order yours today.